Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you why die on the Netgear Neo TV Pro streaming player. Now, as you can see here, I have my television set hooked up to my Netgear Neo TV Pro streaming player and my laptop computer equipped with Intel WiDi technology. And I actually have a wireless keyboard attached to my laptop to make things easier. Now, this is my first time using this, so I'm going to probably try and initiate it on the Netgear Neo TV first and then follow up with the Intel WiDi app on my computer. So in my channels, one of the channels is Intel WiDi wireless display, and I'm going to click on that. And as you can see there, it says Intel wireless display and it's ready for connection. To get started, launch Intel Wireless Display on your computer. Now, before we start, in case you're not familiar with what WiDi is, it's Wireless Display, as I touched on earlier, and it allows you to mirror what's on your computer on your television set, and in this case, it's being done through the Netgear Neo TV Pro streaming player. Now, in order for this to work, you need a laptop with Intel WiDi incorporated into it. I've looked around on sites like Newegg and Tiger Direct and even Amazon.com, and I was not able to drum up a WiDi dongle to connect to your computer. So as far as I know, WiDi is only in laptops that have it already built in, at least at the time of filming this video. It would be nice if you could just buy a dongle just like Wi-Fi, and plug it into your computer and access the WiDi that way. Fortunately, I do have WiDi built into my laptop, so I'm going to go over and click on Intel WiDi on my desktop here. And as you can see, Intel WiDi pops up, and I get a EULA here. So of course I'm going to agree because I want to use this app. All right, it's searching for an adapter, and it's come up with the Neo TV. So I'm going to click on that and hit connect. Now it's asking me to enter in a security code on my computer, so I'm going to do that. And hit continue and the security configuration was successful and it's connecting. And I have a problem here. It says a problem caused the program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. So let's close this out. And try again. Let's connect. Okay, so it says ready for connection. To get started, launch Intel wireless display on your computer. So let's do that right now. I'm going to click on that program here on my desktop. And I'm going to hit connect down here. And it's connecting to the wireless display. All right, and it's uh, in the upper left hand corner. It looks quite small, but it is mirroring it. And it looks like I have one to one motion with the mouse. Strangely enough, the mouse is in the regular orientation, but the actual desktop is not. So we're going to have to fix that. I'm going to go to properties here. And there's a selection here that says resize TV picture. So I'm going to click on that. So let's adjust this here with a, you have a plus and minus option. And it looks like I have to go pretty large on this. So And 
it's not working. Okay, unfortunately I encountered a problem. And it's not the first time I've had a problem with my flat screen TV. I probably have to upgrade it. It is one of the first flat panel monitors and it is showing its age. As you saw, the mirrored screen was in the upper left hand corner and it was quite small. And using the Intel Wide Eye Properties tool, I still wasn't able to stretch the image to the full screen. Also, using the television controls, I wasn't able to increase the size of the mirrored image as well. And it stands to reason, because if you remember, I was able to move the mouse on the full screen. It's just that the image was in the upper left-hand corner. So something was going wrong. I went on the Intel Wide Eye forums to try and troubleshoot it, but they only pointed me to the Wide Eye Properties tool where you increase the size of the screen. So that's a big monkey wrench in my plans because I was really hoping that I could use this device as a home theater PC replacement. Apparently, I can't, at least until I get a new TV. Now, if you know anything about my channel, in my attic, I have an eight foot projection screen that's high definition. And that's where my main home theater PC is located. So I'm sure I could attach this device to that television set with no problem, but I don't need it because that's again where my home theater PC is and that's where it's going to stay. But just to show you that Wide Eye does work, I connected the Netgear Neo TV Pro to my 27 inch monitor. So let's give this a try. I'm going to go over to wireless display and click on that. And now I'm going to launch the app on the laptop. And I have it to automatically connect, so it's connecting automatically. And there we go. You see the Intel Wide Eye works, and it's pretty much one to one on the mouse moving on both screens. And then the faster I move it, it's still pretty much one to one. Now I'm going to launch the web browser here. And I'm going to sign into my YouTube account, but I'm going to sign into my Tech Explorers account because I recently launched that channel and you can check out a video I have posted on there already. So I'm just going to log in there. So let me go to the channel page here. And you can see there's a little bit of a lag there, but definitely usable. It's not a deal breaker. Let's, so let's scroll down here and I'm going to click on my Tech Explorer's teaser. And hopefully the sound isn't going to be too loud here. Now you could tell on the original video on the laptop it was a little bit quicker than the Wide Eye version, but again, it's not a deal breaker, not a problem, definitely workable. And you're not losing frames. Some of these devices that beam or mirror your laptop, you tend to lose frame rate on them, and that's not a good thing. But this seems to be pretty good, and again, I just wish it would work on my television set because that's why I bought it. But I've had this laptop for about 10 months now, and I've had the Wide Eye on it, and I haven't been able to try it out up until now, so I'm glad at least I was able to try it out. And I like it. Really to no fault of the device itself, it's more so the fault lies on the shoulders of my television set. So it's important to know if you have an older TV set, it might not be compatible with some of these new devices that are out there. But when this works, it works well.
So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.